forcing me to go back and then I ended up loving it and I stayed there from when I was I started when I turned 11 my mom forced me to go and I stayed there until I turned 20 and I've been in every show <laughs> I was in every show like during that time and now I come back to volunteer this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine <laughs> This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I was really shy. I still am really shy, except when I get on stage, but I was really shy and I'm, I wasn't good at making friends and most of the kids were older than me. And I don't know, it was just awkward and, cause you have to really, when, when you do it, when you join a theater group, they make you do a lot of things that you might not be comfortable with, getting on stage in front of everyone, having to do improv or talk or whatever, I don't know, <laughs> just, making you, taking you out of your comfort zone and that was really scary for me, especially being only 11 and I had done a little bit of theater before, but not much. <laughs> Don't go into the light, Dylan! <laughs> Here you go. Bottle, light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine again. Bottle, light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Okay. Go, next one! So, it was scary. I hated it because I didn't know anyone. But then I ended up getting to know everyone and we all became sort of a family. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. This little light of <laughs> This little light of mine. <laughs> I'm going to let it shine. I think Native Theater fits in their lives uh, with the performing arts. Uh, it's um, a way to ex express yourself. A way to be yourself. And how, how it fits culturally in, in an urban center, in theater, is, is it grounds you. And it's one of the principles of uh, indigenous culture is to, is to ground yourself, to be yourself. And for theater, you got to find a character. And if you don't know yourself that well, you're not confident in just in who you are. To develop a character, which theater asks of you, is to set terms of text analysis that I, that I learned in theater, um, subtext, uh, that when, when they know that intellectually, if they can get just a bit of that knowledge and find out what a character is, what is a, what is a, a character of a bear? It's strong into mighty oak trees. 
and the small willows. They grew and they stretched to the great sky and they blew with the wind. The beautiful rooted nation turned into homes of the Indian people. They turned into teepees. They turned into teepees. They turned into teepees. If they, if they don't know how to use their voice and they're 10, 12 years old and they're even scared to even make a growl in front of people or and to walk around like a bear, that, that theater does allow that to say, okay, well, I need to hear my voice. Theater says, well, maybe sing one of your tribal songs. Some of them have never sang, have hit a drum and sing a song. So Red Eagle Soaring, that's one way to help find identity is to hear their voice because an actor's strength is his voice. My grandmother has really bad hearing problems. She's she's like 80% deaf and she's she can only understand me really well because I know how to articulate and I know how to speak right and she has a problem understanding a lot of people but she can usually hear me pretty well. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I think uh, Red Eagle Soaring has pre definitely prevented me from really going down the wrong path. There, you know, we have, there's people that were in Red Eagle Soaring that once they stopped, all of a sudden drugs took them, you know, they, drugs, alcohol, they, I know a few people that have gone to jail, and it's sad, because I think it kept me out of trouble. Honestly, if because I mean, of course, every kid in school you get offered, hey, let's go hang out after school and and go smoke some weed. We'll go try this. We'll go do that. And I was like, oh, sorry, I can't. Gotta go to Red Eagle Soaring. Kids come from um, uh, to different parts of the United States. Some from Canada, and they come from. They're not connected to their tribes. Some know. So what's neat about Red Eagle Soaring is that we we. we uh, try to unite them back to their the original people, their original tribes. This tobacco here <coughs> was grown naturally in Canton, in Vancouver. This is the sun. This is the rooted nation. Sun, the earth. You are the earth. I'm a talk yes in all my relations. This is you. This is the light. It requires an enormous amount of respect and reverence for this. <coughs> so I brought it for you guys. Some of you are not from the plains. Some of you are uh, Niska, Shimshian on the coast plain. If you look at the similarities, look. Your, 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 your canoes are made of what? The sun. Your job as young people have no excuse is to learn these things. So you guys, thank you so much. I, I can tell right now just by sitting here when I brought this out here, that you all sat quietly and you listened respectively. That's good. That tells me the medicine, uh, my brother Dwayne Howard says, the medicine has hit you in your heart. Camera, can you say the prayer for us? Sure. See all my relations. That's good enough prayer. Say it again. Oh. Good enough. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I really do think it is important to have an organization like this because there honestly isn't any other organizations that I know of for for acting. I mean, you can do it in school, but I did drama in school and I, I hated it. I really did. I just love doing it here. I love doing theater at Radical Soaring. I don't know, at school, there's something about it. It wasn't fun. And there, I know there are other programs, but you have to pay for it. And so many people can't afford that, to do that. And it's so, it's just different. And the fact that you get culture mixed in with it, intertwined is, 
is amazing, really, because honestly, I probably wouldn't be very involved in my in the cultural community here, the native community here, if it wasn't for Radical Soaring, because we do go to so many different events, and we do we always have people come in and teaching us things, and I know a lot of people in the native community because of Radical Soaring that I wouldn't know otherwise. Like a lot of not just like people in general, but I mean important figures in the native community that um, I've gotten the chance to meet that I probably wouldn't have ever if it wasn't for Radical Soaring. And I've gotten to act on stage in front of people in the Native community and I would have never gotten to do that if it wasn't for Radical Soaring also. So I think it's really important.